taken care of me down through the years. Praise the Lord, God have kept me. I certainly thank Him, y'all. I, I appreciate God. Because I'm telling you, I'm glad to be saved. Uh -huh. This is a great life. Yeah, that's right. Being saved is not a bad life. Uh -uh. It's a good life. Yes, it is. I appreciate God for a good saved uh -huh. walk with Him. Yes. I appreciate Him having given me a good wife to me too. All right. So God, has, God has good and good. I'm not gonna, I, see, I just want to give God some glory. Yes. Y'all might not want to give it. Go I, I, I owe it to him yes. to give him some glory. Yes, yes Lord. Especially, amen, not so much now, but especially in this pandemic time. Yes. You owe him a praise. Yes. Sometimes people forget their blessings and run all the God and think. You may run around here talking about, I'm helping, I'm helping, I'm there. And you don't know what you got. That's right. That's right. That's true. Praise the Lord. That's but one thing you can tell them, I got the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost is my shield and my protector. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. A short space of time. We, we say the Lord. Yeah. I just want to say the Lord to thank God thank you. Amen. for his many blessings that he has to show us from each one of us. Yeah. He's speaking on today and we say appreciate your presence for being here because you could have went somewhere else. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, well, there's a lot of people you could have went there too. But I thank God that you came here <coughs> and we are here to worship God yes. in spirit yes. and in truth. Amen. From the book of Romans, if you pray with me for a short space of time, amen, that God will help us here on today. And I, I, I do appreciate, amen, God for his faithfulness that he has blessed each and every one of us on today. We have so much, so much to appreciate God for and for how God has taken care of each and every one of us of you here on today. Amen. Because God is is a great God of all. Yes. He is above us all and in us all. And in him we live and move and have our being. And I, I don't want to bore your patience here on today, but we want to just uh, to liberate in the word of victory on today. The word that means so much to us. And, and if we would make it a part of us we would find ourselves uh, being the winner. Uh, because God don't save losers. That's right. That's right. God never saved any one of us to lose. That's right. I, I know sometimes that well people say, Well, I've been through this and I've been through that. Well, Jesus went through it too. Amen. And he was the first one to go through those things. Amen. To show us that we can also uh, go through. Because he said, if you walk with him, amen, you're going to suffer persecution. See, because people will talk about you when you uh, take upon the name of Jesus, uh, people don't like that name. And they are uh, ostracized you and ridicule you because you made that decision to walk with Jesus. But you make one of the greatest decisions that he is to walk with Jesus. That's right. And, and, and the enemy, uh, Satan, don't like it. Uh, the enemy don't like no one uh, that associate with the name of Jesus. He tries to keep you away from people that, uh, especially the Jesus name for. Yes. He don't want you to be identified with them because. They know something about Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the reason for it all. That's right. And I'm grateful. I'm thankful to you today. Amen. That he is the Lord of our life. Mm -hmm. The fourth chapter of the book of Mormon. Yes, yes. Uh, if you're pleased, you're on today. And I don't want to bore your patience, but it's still early. It's not dinner time yet. <laughs> all right. Amen. But we... In this fourth chapter of the book of Romans, 
and written by the Apostle Paul. Given to us here in many words. He went back with some history to give us some illustration of what God did. And the times of old. And what God is capable of doing even now. Through the 17 verse, we will commence reading. And by the help of the he said, as it is written, I have made thee a part of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened it to sin, called it those things which be not as though they were, who against hope believed in him, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which uh, was spoken, so shall I see. Being not weak in faith, yeah. consider not his own body now dead, and he was about ten hundred years old, neither the, the, yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not around at the promise, the promise, not promises, at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. <laughs> and being fully persuaded that what he had promised yeah. He was able also to perform. You may be seated. The writer, the Apostle Paul, giving us some biblical history concerning uh, what God had promised. I'm thankful that what God promised He is a God that is able to perform whatever He promised. Amen. I'm thankful to Him that He is one that never reneges on nothing He says. Regardless of how difficult the situation might be. He never, ever uh, is unable to perform what he says. One thing that we as individuals, as God's people, and learners here today must always learn this. If God said it, it's going to be. Regardless of the trouble that I might have in life, if God permitted to come, He's a God that is able to stop it. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Or He's able to give me strength yes. to go through it. Uh -huh. Huh. In life itself alone, there are many things that will happen to not some of us, but all of us. Yes. Because if you live this life, you're going to see it. You're going to suffer something. Amen. But it's one thing that I'm finding out that if you go and do the thing that God has given us to do, there's no doubt that God will give you the strength to go through it. Amen. Amen. In this life, as I said, we are either going in or we coming out. Amen. Because it's a known fact. The Bible itself stands alone and says, man that is born of a woman is a few days in full trouble. We don't have those things. But in the midst of all of the chaos of life, we are either going in or we coming out of it. He alone deserves glory and honor 
he alone deserves to be praised the most. Yes. Yes. See, once you make the connection uh, with Jesus, it is the best connection that you can ever make. Amen. But in the midst of you making that connection with him, there is some uh, spiritual uh, I was in the office and it just dropped in my spirit and I wrote it down and said there are spiritual adjustments uh, to operate uh, successful. If we are going to operate in this we're going to have to make spiritual adjustments. In other words, we're going to have to start making some kinds of adjustment yeah, yeah. so that I can be able to go through life as I begin to obey the word of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. People said it's, it's hard. Huh. Now this is what people say. People say it's hard mm -hmm. to live safe. Mm -hmm. Let me be good at that for a while. Mm -hmm. Why should it be so hard to live safe when you got a God on your side to strengthen you through here? Amen. It's hard when I really don't want to do it. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. It's hard when you have a, I want to and I don't want to. Yes, yes. That makes it difficult. Uh -huh. yes, it does. You ain't totally committed uh -huh. to the will of God. Uh -huh. You want to walk with God. Uh -huh. Sometimes uh -huh. sometime you don't. Amen. Uh -huh. But if you want Walk with God, it's going to have to be a made of mind. When I worked for General Motors for 35 years, I had to be on the job at 6 a.m. in the morning. And I sure enough couldn't get up at, 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 at 5 45 and think I'm going to get there. Amen. It don't work like that. You got to get up early, get yourself together, clean up, and get yourself together, and then and make preparation or making adjustments to get to your job on time. For 35 years, you can count on one hand how many times I was late. Because who need more? <laughs> who got the hair? I know that's right. <laughs> the babies need milk, yeah, yeah, yeah. shoes, and everything else. Yes, yes. And I knew uh -huh. they were dependent on their father uh -huh. for support. Yes. Yeah. And you had to make those adjustments yeah, yeah. to make it on time yeah. and stay there. For 35 years. Yes. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. It's hard when you don't want to do it. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. I knew I had to go. Yes. Sometimes, right. can, can I tell you like this here? Sometimes I'm working at General Motors and have, have, have a church. At the same time, going different churches on different times, uh -huh. and getting up four o'clock in the morning, brother, that's hard. I know that's right. Help me, Holy Ghost. Well, come on. There are times that you didn't want to go. There are times that you didn't want to hear that clock. <laughs> Praise the Lord, but you had to go. Amen. But making spiritual adjustment uh -huh. 
Meaning that I'm going to make these adjustments because I must be able to perform my duty as a man of God and a servant of God. Now I was illustrating to the church here how God himself made some spiritual adjustments. Taking a man from Amen. And using Abraham as an example to show us his God abilities and what God puts his approval on you, how you to perform in the word of God. Uh-huh. That's why he said, as it is written. He said, I made you father of many nations. Yes. I did that for you yes. to show you uh-huh. my abilities and my strength and my capabilities of using whoever I want to use. Because uh-huh. when God puts his approval on you, uh-huh. you become a prey. Yeah. The enemy is after you when you yeah. God puts his approval yeah. on your life. Uh-huh. You become a prey. The enemy don't like it. Satan don't like it, but he ain't, can't do nothing about it. Because yeah. I heard the writer say, if God be for you. He said, who can do it? So, go down there as I begin to read down to the word. We find that he said that he could get some help and who against hope believe in hope. Praise the Lord that, uh, that that he might become the father of the nation. When the approval of God is on your life, I don't care how hell begins to come against you, it can't stand. Amen. When the Bible said that when he have on down and down, it said he was fully persuaded. Lord help us today. Fully persuaded yes. Come on here concerning this thing that he was able to perform yes, uh, what he has done. God can do exactly what he intends to do and how he wants to do it and who you want to use to do it. Yes. Oh God is looking for someone to have a made up mind. Yes. If you've got a made up mind, God can use you to his glory. Hallelujah. Yes. One thing I'm finding about God uh-huh. is never too late. Never. Yeah. never. Amen. It's never too late. Never. God has a plan for every one of us in his divine amen, agenda. Yes. And giving us a plan that the devil wants to look into it and see. Look into God's plan. I got news for all of us. He can't look into God's plan because he's God Almighty. Praise the Lord. But it's one thing I'm finding out here. Praise the Lord that we as people, as individuals, we have to do the adjustments. We got to make these spiritual adjustments so that we can be able, amen, to do the things that God has put on us to do. Praise the Lord. God gives each and every one of us a God plan yes, yes, yes. so we can do the God thing. God thing is to do the right thing. Amen. Am I right about it? The God thing is for me to do the God thing. And the God thing is the right thing. Yes, right. It's the, amen. Obey the, what God is saying to us through his divine will here. Praise the Lord. God has a divine uh, way of every one of us finding, amen, where God is, where God wants us to be. And to do the things that God has ordained from the foundation of the world. This thing, God did it before he created anything. Amen. He ordained it to be. And let me assure all of us, it's going to be what God says. 
from hell to high water. God's plan is going to be forever. I don't care what the demons of hell is trying to do. Rob us of trying to find the way that God would have us to go and to do the thing that God has ordained it to be. Amen. God will never, ever, amen, let you down. Amen. But I'm finding that it's God that gives us the mind to make these spiritual adjustments. Amen. So that I can be spiritually successful. God never intended for me to go down all bent down, broke down. Amen. That we cannot ever be successful in our spiritual relationship. God wants me to have a full blast relationship. Am I right about it, y'all? God wants me to enjoy. Amen. Help to the highest. And don't let no devil in hell tell you and try to grab your mind. Get your mind all confused. Amen. And broken up and broken down. Amen. To let you know that you can't do this. It's a devil from hell. Let him know. Send him back the word. And tell that devil I can do all things. Christ that strengthened me. If God said it, it's got to be. God is not a man that he should lie. Come on, am I right about it? Neither is the same God a man that he should repent. If God said it, it's got to be. Yes. Yes. Is there any witness? Hallelujah. Yes. This is so important. This is why he begins to tell us uh, and being fully persuaded. Yes, yes. Come on here that he was well able. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Whatever God promises, yes. he's able to perform it. Yes. In other words, he's able to bring it to pass. Yes. Come on here because uh, we on the individuals here today have to realize that we as sons of God have to begin to start making spiritual adjustments. Amen. When you find out you did the wrong thing, make some adjustments to do the right thing. You have to make these spiritual adjustments. What for watching that I may be successful, being fruitful, being mindful, being Watching all the time of knowing these things. If God said it, it's got to come to pass. If God ordained it, it's got to be. My help comes from the Lord. My help don't come from the east or the west. Of my promotion don't come that way. My promotion comes from God. And we got to realize in the day, people, whatever you need. In life, God got it. Yes, yes. God God is the strength of our life. Yes, come right about it. Amen. We have to make these adjustments. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying for us, what I mean when we make these adjustments, we make these adjustments to do better. Amen. In other words. We need, to, we need to make our life better. Uh -huh. When we begin to know these things, because let me assure us, all of us have made some mistakes. Yes. Yes. Mistakes in life is going to happen. Yes. But we have to make adjustments yes. to the word of God yes. and find out, well, I need to make some adjustments. Well, I fault of this, I did wrong in this. I got to begin to make an adjustment and make it right so I can stay right yes. with God. Hallelujah, yes. uh -huh. So this is what he Paul is trying to get the body of Christ to see all of these things that God amen is well able to perform it. He's well able to strengthen us where you're weak, God can make you strong. Where you're not where you should be, God will prolong time so I can get it right with him. Yes, yes, yes. 
the right for us to make these adjustments. See, God don't have to make adjustments. God never makes adjustments. God gives us the time to make adjustments. So that we can get ourselves together with Him. Am I right or wrong? So where we need to be strengthened, yes. God strengthened us where we need strength. When yes. we're weak, then the Word of God said, "Then you're strong." Yes. Whatever yes. sin yes. that we don't have to make these adjustments, people of God. Uh-huh. When God began to tell us all these things, because the ways of the Lord is about time. Yes. Yes. When we make these spiritual adjustments. One thing for sure, we have to know this. If God said it, then God, amen, ordained it. Amen, God never tells us something, amen, and says, I made a mistake. Amen. God never makes never. mistakes. Man is the one who made the first mistake. Right. Right. This is why we're in the hell we're in the day. Yeah. Yeah. It's because, because the first man of Adam messed this thing up and put us all in a mess. Is there anybody in the house today? I feel like somebody ought to give God some praise. If you ever learn how to give God his praise, it is now. We have to learn how to make it. Lord, if you will, sir. God help us here today and to realize whatever I need in this life, if God, which is God Almighty, He ordained this thing from the foundation of the world. He said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Did they say so? If God said for me to be holy, then I must learn how to start making spiritual adjustment for my life to line up with what God is saying. When God said, put this aside, then I got to make some adjustment to start putting that thing aside. When God began to let me know what I want you to do, I got my plan all fixed for you. Come on here, yo. I wish I had somebody in this house today that would realize you need to give God a high praise. Give God what he wants in this house today. You can't pray to thank God and thank God as me. If you're going to praise him, you're going to have to give him a perfect praise. If God said do it, then what i got to do, make some adjustment and start giving God his high praise. Give God his high praise. Give God his high praise. Learn how to make adjustments. The greatest, the greatest adjustment that human got to learn how to follow divine protocol. Am I right about it? I said divine protocol. Whatever God has spoken, then we got to make the adjustment to do it. As I heard him say it, if my people, if my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from the wicked ways. He said, at the end, when I hear from heaven, I will heal your land. Come on, get my God. If you make that adjustment, if you make that spiritual adjustment, I declare God is obligated to come to our rescue. God is obligated to come to your knees. Come on, he said, if you people that I call by my name will pump up. Yes. Yes. 
you got to make spiritual adjustment as you go through them. To stay focused. Yes, yes. Because the demons feel is after you every day that you live. The spirit of doubt is trying to destroy all of us. Amen. To want you to doubt the word of God. And to say nothing to it. But I got news for every one of us in here. Well, come on. This never fails. Amen. Yeah, Whatever God has yeah. spoken, it's got to come to pass. With me or without me. But for me and my house, I want to go with the ability and to know that God never ever fails. Isn't that anybody will give God some praise in this house? God arise and let us get in the East You got to get to go and tell the Lord of Israel, I'm going to let God arise in me. I'm going to let the God of heaven rise in me. Come on here. And, and the enemy don't got the free. But we so pious and so stubborn and don't want to give God a praise because you're still in that limbo for the rest of your life. But I make up my mind here again. That you need God to do in your life. Start naming it and claiming it and give God it and let God be glorified and let this thing come to pass in your spiritual life. You need to rise and let God be exalted. Yes. Yes. Victory is yours. Yes. Yes. It's been paid for you. Yes, Lord. Yes. When Jesus went to Calvary, he paid the price for your victory. Yes, yes. And what the devil is, he's trying to keep you from it. Come on. Jesus is. Come on. 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 And be just as cold as a deep throat. Wow. Amen. 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 You ain't doubting Jesus. Mm -hmm. You doubting people. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Since you doubting people, yeah. Satan is just about to destroy you. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Hey, hey, hey. You look the wrong way. All right. Get your mind off the crowd. Stay. And get to doing what God wants you to do. Hallelujah. Yes. You can be a joint cop yourself. Mm -hmm. And you start to doing something. Yes. All right. Don't have enough word in you to come to you. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. But you're still. Wow. Don't lead. God is God. The devil is about to destroy some of us. Jesus. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Yes. All right. He's a liar. Never know it. Yes. He cannot win here. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. I will go to the next house. Mm -hmm. All right, go in here. Mm -hmm. God has given us the power. Yes, He has. Thank you, Jesus. To change yes. Thank you, Lord. You don't want to go without. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So get ready to turn your dial back to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And get it off people. That's yes. right. That's right. Well, people is not the answer. That's right. Hmm. People got to make the adjustment just like you. Amen. Amen. Just like me, you got to make spiritual adjustment. Yes, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I got this when I went in the office. God said it. All right. And I wrote it down. Huh. Thank you. Make a spiritual adjustment. All right. In order yeah. to be successful. Yes, yes. We have to make the difference. Yes. And it's not going to return to him empty. Yes. Oh, like the scripture said, God, God needs the empty. Yes, Lord. Of oh, not accomplishing what God sent it to me. Hallelujah. Yes. He said it for your strength. Hallelujah. For your deliverance. Yes, Lord. That you can be whole yes, and not have hope. I know that's right. Hallelujah. Yes. Man's problem huh? is man. Amen. Man's problem is man. Yes. You need your problem. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Stop blaming other folks. Hallelujah. You need your biggest problem. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Gotta say that. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. God is not well pleased. God is looking for a people that will make spiritual adjustments. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You know where you are. I'm going to tell you. Yes, Lord. You know where you are. Yes, yes. Hey, you have to make it for you. Stop trying to make it for somebody else. You give that person. Nope. They got to make it too. Yes, Lord. We, as a people of God. Yes. I didn't know what I was going to say. I don't 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 I Yes. Come on now. Yes. Turn from your wicked ways. He said, "Then 
will I do you? How do you delay? How do you Hallelujah. How could you miss it? And I heal uh-huh. your lady. Yes, Lord. A miracle of lame deep healing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. He's headed in the wrong direction. The man needs to be. Yes. All right. You better we want it. everything God got for us. Yes. We don't want to make no adjustments. We want the healing. We want the restoration. We want everything God got. Yes. But we don't want to make the spiritual adjustments. Mm-hmm. To get myself in my hand. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, there's some spiritual adjustment that walks in that domain. Mm-hmm. There's some spiritual adjustment that you have to make. That's right. That's right. I can't do what I used to do. Yeah, I hear you. And one man about, I don't want to do what I used to do. All right, man. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. I want to do his will. Mm-hmm. Yes. I want to stay focused. Stay focused. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do what this is. He said, then. That's why I tell him, ready to press me. Because I'm looking for the end. Uh-huh. Then you got to catch up with me. Well, all right. Then go out front of me. Uh huh. Open it. That's what the book said. Uh-huh. Then go overtake me. Yes, yes, yes. And then show me, man, I got my blessing for you. Take your blessing. All right. Then you got to catch up with me. Uh-huh. And tell me, give your blessing. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Because right. I try to make it good one I can. Because God told me to do the same thing. Uh-huh. Some make it, some don't. Yeah. But I can go with you. Would you go without you? Uh-huh. That's what the picture is. Yeah. Uh-huh. Y'all ain't here with me. Uh-huh. I'm not trying to be no super son because I ain't no super son. Uh-huh. I just think of my mind that we got to do what we all said to do. Come on, y'all. Every one of us got to obey God. Amen. Amen. We'll take the next ticket. Amen. The elevator will be going down. Show me going down to be one. Thank you. My ticket said going up. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. It's, it's time for people to draw not to go. And he will draw nigh to you. God help us today. To realize how we need to be. But man to make up his mind. You make up your mind for everything else. Don't you? You can make up your mind. You made up your mind to go to That's right. Yeah. It took you that made up mind to go to church. Yeah, could have told you, child, look at the TV. Uh-huh. Oh, Get you a message off the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Turn to the word station. <laughs> but he said, you come to the house of God. Yes, yes. Praise him. This <laughs> will make you. To be with God. Yes, <laughs> hallelujah. It's time for people. Let's stop. Don't don't play with God. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's right. Don't it's play. time out for playing church. Mm-hmm. Stop playing church. Mm-hmm. Hear the voice of the Lord because He's talking. That's right. He is. He's sure coming. 
You speak your mind. Make up your mind. And I'm going to get with you. And I'm going to stay with you. Yes. Because he's my everything. I know, that's right. He'll do more for you in a moment. Yes, he can. Wow. Amen. That's right. That's right. Adjustments that I need to make in life. 
Yes. So that my life can line up with what the word of God is saying yes. to me. Yes. Praise the Lord because I am the word. Word of God says all of my help comes from the Lord. If we're looking for God to help us, He'll help us. Yes, He will. But if you ain't looking for His help, He'll let you go on and out there. Yes, He will. He shall do it. But let me tell you, I don't, I don't want to see nobody backslide. Mm -hmm. Nobody. I don't want to see nobody backslide. Don't you backslide for nothing. Amen. There's nothing out there but trouble. That's it. Stay yes. focused. Yes. Get closer. That's right. To God, because that's who hmm. you're gonna need in this time. That's right. In this pandemic time, you. But not go after them, but don't try out. See what's out there. Mm -hmm. That's a trick of the devil. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. Don't mm -hmm. you let the devil fool you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is great. All the time. He's great. Yes. Yes. And you're good. Lord, take the light and take the light. Strengthen you here. Open the day. Keep you. I, 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 I tell you this. I'll pray with you and pray for you. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you. Prayer gonna do so much. That's it. That's right. Until you do something. Hallelujah. Yes. It'll hold you until you make up your mind. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, but it don't keep you Praise over your wrong. Mm -hmm. No, it ain't. Mm -hmm. God bless you. God will strengthen you. Yes. God will do more for you mm -hmm. in a moment. Yes, he but will. he ain't gonna go against your will. Uh -uh. No, he That's why he gives us all the will. Mm -hmm. If you don't will to do it, you won't do it. Mm -hmm. He gives you that freedom. Yes. Yeah. Well, I bless you if there's anyone need for it, you say you get a free for you. Until God help you. Salvation for you is a pay the big price. Yes. It, it was a big price to pay for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. It took the life of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but it's still free for us. Yes. If you want it, you can have it. Mm -hmm. We are here to pray with you if you need prayer. Yes. So if you need prayer, come here to us and be someone. We are praying for you that God will strengthen you and keep you. Yes. Let me assure you this, he's not going to keep you against your will. No, he won't. If you will to do it, he'll keep you. But if you don't will to do it. Because he gave you a will, he gave you a history. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, God bless you. May God keep you. May God strengthen you here on today. It is our prayer. Amen. I don't want to take you too far because I don't want to hurt no one here today. We want to. Everybody to be here with some joy. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. All right. Let us pray. Praise the Lord. Uh, Amen. We certainly praise the Lord for faith. Yes. He's good. He's great. Yes. Certainly, we want to thank you all for.